Hello there, assassins. Can you guys hear me okay? Can everybody hear me? Do let me know in the chat. Oh my goodness me. How long has it been since we've lost on a stream? It has definitely been a while. Seven people here in the chat already. You guys are legends. Thank you so much. You can hear me? Perfect. I, um, I've kind of got a new setup today. You should see the setup I have, I have made for this stream or this series of streams. Um, I have my iPad here for like build inspiration so I can actually look at Google Earth to try and replicate the castle. Um, I have my phone for the actual chat so I can be able to read and talk to you guys at the same time. I have obviously my TV and my PlayStation so I can actually stream. <laughs> that would not be great if I didn't have those two things. I have my actual Lego Disney castle next to me on my drum stool of all things because it's the only thing that would fit it. So I can use it for actual inspiration too. So I think we've got the whole setup, possibly. I've got water behind me. I, I may actually just take a sip of water before we begin. You're going to hear some really, really terrible seat ASMR. You ready for this? I'm just like zipping over to the other side of the room on a, on a spinny chair. So much fun. You ready for this? Oh. Oh, I made a weird noise. <laughs> How is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing fantastic. Thank you so much for dropping the stream. It is a solo stream, Ronnie. How is it going, bro? It's good to see you. Sorry, guys. I'm missing a lot of the chat. Here we go. Dominic, what is up, bro? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for popping by. Solo, my friend, thank you so much for dropping the stream. Hope you're doing well. Glad to mod a stream again. Glad to have you here, bro. It's really lovely to see you. Thank you so much. Ronnie Zegos, what is up, man? Good to see you. Dominic Young, what is up, my friend? Thank you so much for dropping the stream. I know. It's been a long time, hasn't it? It's been, a, it's been an absolute while. Loud and clear. Love to see that. Hey Aaron, thank you so much for dropping the stream, man. It's always good to have a Disney expert by my side. Thank you so much. Oh, hell yeah. We've got to start in front of the Phantom Manor. Like, otherwise, what is the point, you know? <laughs> awesome Destroyer. Dude, I haven't seen you in ages. I hope you're doing fantastic, bro. Thank you so much for dropping the stream. Stranger Things fan, what is up, my friend? Thank you so much for dropping the stream. It's so good to see so many of you here, honestly. Like I said, it's been a long time. Mr. Charlex, how is it going, bro? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping the stream. There you go, guys. Nightbot has put in the chat there a donation link to Tiltify, which is the partnered um, fundraising you know, website for Make-A-Wish International. So if you guys want to go ahead and donate, no pressure to, of course. But if you do want to go ahead and donate, we're trying to get to a goal of $500, which is madness, I know. But we can do it. We can do it. We're assassins. Of course we can do it. So there's a link there for you guys. Uh, he's also kindly plugged my Instagram. So if you want to go and follow me up on those... You know, feel free as well. <laughs> Hello, Hugo. What is up, my friend? Thank you so much for running the stream. I hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Great, man. How have you been? I've been good. Thank you. I, I've um, I've had a busy day, not going to lie. It's so lovely to be here streaming. I was a little bit sleepy earlier, so I was worried about falling asleep on the stream. But now I'm here. Now I'm talking to all you guys. You're going to keep me awake because uh, <laughs> having a lot to uh, talk about is always very, very good for your brain. And uh, it's definitely good for my brain because I'm a chatterbox. Amazing, thank you. You just came back from London a week ago. Oh my word, Where? what did you go to London for? Did you uh, go for any specific reason or just for fun? Why not? Fun fact, I built the Phantom Manor in Minecraft on a creative server and then the server shut down and you lost everything. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, that sucks. I couldn't sleep last night so instead of sleeping I instead watched Star Wars episode 1 to 6. That's the way to do it man, that's the way to cure insomnia right there. Perfect, especially if you watch like the last... Uh, no, if you watch The Last Jedi, that is a sleeping through movie. Like, I do not like that one. That's... It may be a biased opinion, but I just... I'm not a fan. That's probably the worst one, in my opinion. <laughs> Yo, can I build it with you? Like, I will copy you on my world. Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. <clears throat> if you want to build along, feel free. I'm going to see the Stranger Things, sir, and... Oh, no way! Oh, no, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, about hobby on Discord? I already do that. Oh, do you... But I do have in real life stuff that I can't help. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, well, you know where we are if you need us, you know. Feel free to uh, ask any, any you know, advice or whatever. I mean, no one's a professional in the Discord, as you know. But um, we are, you know, we're friendly. We, we can try and help as best we can. <clears throat> this is not a good day to get a sore throat. <laughs> when is the rest of Hawkins being built? Good question. Um, I am going to hopefully get back on that stream very, very soon. Uh, I'm trying to sort out a few things. This is actually a test as well. Like this charity stream series is going to be a lovely test for streaming because I've just actually found out how to add overlays onto the PlayStation 5. As you can see, not right now. We don't have them right now, obviously. 
um, but it will be happening and I'm going to buy a lovely pack from a Fiverr legend um, who is much better at graphic design than I am uh, and hopefully get things looking more professional before getting back into those things so that'd be cool oh really not R really not what <laughs> really not <laughs> what was that that was weird I uh <laughs> I didn't know what that was <laughs> what I was trying to say there sorry about that um I have heard your attempt at a song it's very very cool it looks awesome well it sounds awesome sorry TS is it's space fight what Oh, oh, got you, got you, got you. Sick. Okay, right, I should probably make a start. That's probably a good idea, isn't it? Right, let's just pop by Mickey. I feel like I don't want to build too far away from all the rest of my builds, but I also don't want to build too close because rendering, obviously, we want to make the castle, like, pretty big. So if I make it too close, the rendering is not going to be good, and then we're going to have issues, aren't we? <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I build, I want to build with the sunset in the background. I think that would be pretty awesome. So I'm going to start it like down here, maybe. Yeah, it's not too far away, is it? It's a pretty good spot. Let's get Hand and Hud on. Obviously, Hand and Hud is very helpful. If you hear some squeaks that sound questionable, it is my chair. I swear, I'm not that unprofessional. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. <clears throat> okay, we're going to start with some... Let me take a look at the ground. What sort of material can we use for the ground? Now, luckily, I have my iPad here. Um, for good old Google, Google Images, absolute hero, and Google Maps, and Google Love, all of my heroes in one place. Right, okay, so I'm going to use, hmm, I don't want too many depressing looking materials, so like not too many greys, but I think I'm going to have to use grey for the beginning part, possibly. There's like a compass looking thing outside of the front sort of entrance bridge to the castle, so uh, I need to go ahead and build that. Uh, now, I don't have the best picture of it because obviously it's on the floor. Oh, hold on. I've just found a bird's eye view. Well, there we go. That's helpful. Right, so I think I have a good picture here. Now then, <clears throat> am I going to build... Am I going to build this up a level or two? We've got that cave system that goes underneath. For those that have been to Disneyland Paris, you will have seen that you can go underneath the castle and then there's like a dragon in there, which is pretty cool. It's part of like the... The fantasy element of the castle so it's quite important so i don't want to miss that off so i'm gonna to have to raise up the entire thing here we will go with how deep is this world four blocks is it one two th oh three blocks crikey that is not very good is it okay so yeah we might go up two blocks for now and then this will be like ground level here. How did I do it at Phantom Manor? Did I build it into the floor or just did it one layer up? I think it's one layer up, isn't it? In certain aspects of it. It goes onto the, the ground level at the front there, but how did I do the rest of it? We'll be able to tell here because this will be like a nice guide for us. If it's in the floor. It's in the floor. Okay. I mean, I could always start in the floor, couldn't I? And then work upwards. That, that might be a better idea. Heck yeah, nothing like seeing the Disney castle at night at sunset. Yeah, I know, I know. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I was actually thinking of doing a tutorial for this one. Like, I did, obviously, the Gosh Hospital. That was my original charity stream, but I feel like that would be really inappropriate as a tutorial, so I did not get that one done uh, for, obviously, separate videos. But this one, absolutely. I, I mean, that's why I'm building it on this world, so I can actually do, like, a replica of it. Uh, afterwards, hopefully. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. If I need to move Mickey, I will do. I mean, it's not going to be like right over there, but if it's like ruining the aesthetic of the place, you know, good old Mick Mick, we don't want him in the way. <laughs> oh my word. Um, I just want to give a shout out to um, my girlfriend Jessie, who is watching the stream as well. A huge shout out to her. I could not do this without your support, so thank you so much. Hello there, Stitch Fun Crazy. How have you been, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hello, City Build. How was life? Good to see you as well, bro. Thank you so much for opening the stream. I'm so sorry. I keep, like, having to clear my throat, so I'm just going to mute my mic every time I try and do it, just because it might get a bit annoying.
Okay, my family probably thought I was dying then because that did definitely sound like death. But I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> oh my word. Hopefully you didn't hear that because I, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's like clear my throat. And then I went to drink some water. And you know, like when you drink too quick and then you burp, I was like, oh God, that would make me sound so bad on the stream. But hopefully it didn't come through. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't have even said anything because if it didn't happen, you would be like none the wiser. But I'm silly like that. Uh, also, I like to be truthful, you know. Right. I mean, for now, this is going to look ultra bizarre. Like, you're probably looking at this thinking, what is he doing? If I could show you this on the screen, if I had, like, a really awesome setup, I would show you what I'm doing. But I cannot, sadly. But you've just got to trust me. I have an idea. Especially if I do... Oh, if I start... Yeah, actually, 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 actually. I'm going to do this two layers at a time. I mean, we haven't even got to the castle yet, but... <laughs> it's going to be slow and steady and I'm probably end up going to like probably going to end up sorry doing some of this off of camera as well like for small elements or even stuff like I did with my gosh streams where um it was a few bits and bobs at a time you know just so I could get it done in the time frame I had so that's going to be the uh the real struggle the test I guess cool okay and then I'm going to change this I want the pathway in the middle to probably be about seven blocks. Uh, it's not the biggest. Seven, yeah, seven blocks, because then it goes into a point for the archway. And I don't want to miss that point, because it's got like a cool um, crest above the the portcullis of the um, the castle. So I don't want to miss that off. Right, how are we doing so far? We're looking good. Right, so we need to go up. What is this one? About 12 blocks? One, two, three, four. Probably not. It's probably 18. Maybe less. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, cool. So that means if we go in... If we take another 3 here, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fine. And then go up again for 14. Then we're going to reach the 7. And yeah, that'll be on point. All right, sick. All right, cool, cool, cool. This isn't seven just yet, is it? Not quite. I'm slowly creeping forward. I may build that one. If I go quiet in certain sections, guys, don't worry about me. I'm just <laughs> completely zoned out and into the build. Right, that's... <laughs> There we go, guys. That's done. Charity stream over. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> How was your day so far? It's actually really good, bro. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, well, it was a little bit stressful, actually, this morning. But um, now I'm here and I'm streaming. All is well. Can't complain. I feel good. In the zone, you know. Um, do you have anything planned for your week, Wheel? This week? Uh, yes, I actually do. I'm, I'm quite busy this week. Um... So besides all the streams, of course, we'll have a stream as well on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which three back-to-back -back is very unusual for me, as you guys know. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Um, I also do have a drum lesson tomorrow, which is my weekly drum lessons on a Tuesday. And then on Saturday, um, I am going to go and have an adventure, an adventure date with my girlfriend. So it's going to be very fun. Um, we're hoping to go to a mall, so that'd be really cool. Um, and then on Sunday, I am going to Wales by myself. <laughs> um, I'm going to Cardiff because uh, I just got accepted on a new acting job. So that could be fun. I don't actually know what it is yet. I have a suspicion, but um, I don't know if my suspicions are correct. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to Wales to go and film, which will be fun. So that'll be exciting. I will keep you guys posted i don't know what's going to happen yet we shall see we shall see right remember this is going to arch up so right now i'm at base level which is down here but only one of these is supposed to be at base level probably even the bottom one so if i do i think it's just you typical i i mean i could randomly clap right now but I'd probably scare everyone because my mic is like right in front of my face if i try to clap it'll probably just like thunder clap someone by accident <laughs> um right Pull the corners out slightly. Oh my goodness, this is actually a good point. 
I'm building like a raised platform here, right? With concrete powder. But I have nothing to raise it to. Which means I may have to swap all these materials out for something else. Okay. Uh, right. Stone, is that darker than stone brick? No, probably not. Oh, no. What about cold deep slate? I mean, it is darker, but is it too dark? No, I think it should be fine. All right, I'm going to have to use this instead. I just realized a slight, slight hiccup with the build. Um, if I use mud... Does that blend? It does, but then it looks a bit strange. All right, I'm going to have to use a different material. Yeah, I just realized there's like a huge jump, obviously, by blocks. And um, we don't have any type of like concrete stairs or concrete slabs, which I completely forgot about somehow. So I'm going to have to use this instead. It will have to be deep slate and cobbled deep slate. Do they do a normal deep slate slab? Just cobbled. Oh, what a pain. Right. No problem. No bother. You're getting stressed for some mental thingy. Oh, no. Oh, assessed. Oh, sorry. I thought you said, I thought you said stressed. Um, oh, okay, okay. Do you know when you will visit more people's worlds? That's a good question, bro. Uh, I haven't actually given it thought yet, I'll be honest with you. Because I've been quite busy with other things. But I am hoping to do, obviously, another one. I um, do enjoy coming to your worlds. It's always, always fun. Always makes for some cool videos. So, uh, yeah, I will keep you updated. I'm sorry I can't give you a definitive answer right now, but it would hopefully be in a few months' time. I'll um, I'll hopefully know a little bit more, probably middle of this month. Well, I say middle of this month. It's pretty much the middle of this month. <laughs> I mean, like, let's have a look at the calendar real quick. Uh, if I could tell you at the end of the month, I would probably know then. Hello, Crafty Pickles. How are you, bro? Thanks for popping on the stream, brother. Much appreciated. Yes, you're right. You're right. I should pin that comment. Thanks, bro. There we go. Did the uh, description say anything? Oh, I did. That's legendary. Um, I had a little bit of a, uh, a brainwave with the description. I was trying to figure out how to update a description live on YouTube, but it's it's not possible because obviously YouTube isn't really a streaming platform. Um, I mean, it has streaming elements, but it's not really focused around streaming. So I was like, how on earth am I going to be able to update it live? So I just changed my upload default for these streams only, as I'm not going to be making videos until after, so like until next week. So um, every video from now on, which includes streams, is going to have this... Uh, this description, but that's okay. Guys, I have a plan. We take a screenshot of every single act. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That'll take you a long time. There was quite a lot of us. There was definitely, I think there was more crew than there were actual actors. I think. Last try to scream, uh, stream I was in. Yeah, I know, man. I know. Come a long way. <laughs> Definitely. Right. I'm hoping this doesn't look too messy. This is where, like, scaling can be a real nuisance. Like, until I've actually built some of the castle, I won't really be able to know the landscaping. Um... Which is kind of dumb, like I should have probably started with the castle, but I don't like to build like that. I like to build in my own weird methodical way of like building the landscape first and then going with the rest afterwards, you know. Uh, which is dumb, it is dumb. You should always start with your actual build before doing anything like that, because it can get really complex very quick. So like right now, this looks a bit weird. I need to maybe go up in twos. Tell you what, I might just wing it. 
and then sort it out afterwards. Like, see, that looks much better. On that side, I like that. That looks good. Now, if I can try and reach a pinnacle point up here of like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now I can come back down. So one, uh, two. What is it? Two again, and then two. Is it just twos until the end? Pretty much. Just talking to myself, don't worry. <laughs> Is anyone watching um, the Grand Prix at the moment? The uh, the next one is going to be Shanghai. Dude, I'm, I'm absolutely loving the Grand Prix. Like, I've been watching it with my dad and it's just, it's so cool. And I've been like getting into um, all of the sort of like banter outside of the racing. Like, just looking at the memes and stuff. It is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. The, the actual like... I don't know, the, the drivers themselves, like most of them are very, very cool and chill. Uh, it's really cool to see. Actually, I might just do the whole thing with slabs because I think it looks better uh, this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? It looks much like better than what we had. It looks quite dark at the moment, but this is not the castle. This is just like the, the pathway up to the castle. You keep changing your name, your edge. Ah, oh, dude, I look, I um, I don't know what I was gonna say then. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. I hope you're doing well, man. Thank you so much for popping the stream. It has, it has been a while. Good to see you, bro. <laughs> you're all good, man. You're all good. Don't worry. I, I mean, I'm glad you're like blowing up the chat because if we didn't have like a very lively chat, you know, it would be obviously quite a boring stream. So it's always good to. Have a lovely chat with you. Now then, for the actual fence. To me, it looks like sandstone. It could be the lighting on this picture. I'm just going to flip across to another picture. Yeah, it looks like sandstone to me. I'm going to use sandstone. It's got that yellowy sort of like white effect, like an off-white look to it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use this. Okay. Right, and I'll probably use the actual sandstone because it's a bit more textured than the normal one. So, the smooth one. Right. Can these connect? It can. But it needs something behind it to actually make it look like posts. Okay. Hmm. Right then. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. This is where we start building. Uh... What's that community post hinting at, buddy? Ooh. I'm not saying a word. I am not saying a single word. A single word. I said it. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, you'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be rude. I'm sorry to be cruel. It's true. You will have to wait and see, though. It's, uh, it's going to be exciting. Whatever it may be. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. You know, it wasn't like I wrote or anything. <laughs> is that five on both sides? It is. What? There we go. Five. Cool. Alright, this is looking good. And I'm going to build the compass sort of up here somewhere. Um, I don't want it to raise up too much, but it needs to raise up maybe like a little bit more. Just by maybe one block or so. It's so annoying you can't get normal deep slate slabs. So we're going to have to make do with these. That's uh, okay. Um, has everyone been liking the new tutorials by the way? They seem to have been doing absolutely awesome. Like way better than before. Which is really cool to see. So thank you very much for that. I tell you what. I might actually build the compass first. And then come back to that. Otherwise I'm going to get myself. Leave myself too little space to build this. So this compass, this is a weird shape. It's also a very weird material. <laughs> they do like to catch us out some of these builds. But it was my idea to build this, so it's my own fault. What even is that material? Sometimes I can't even tell what they're using to like make it. It must be some type of marble in real life. But how do I make that? That's like a 3D shape. In the floor. It's like an optical illusion. Luckily, I built seven, so I can start from a one. Like up here somewhere. There. 
See, that doesn't pop out very well, does it? So I might need to use my concrete here instead. This might actually be a better idea. If I use concrete powder, that should kind of seep into the ground. Yeah. These ones are like blue a little bit. So, yeah, like this, like a light blue cyan, maybe? Oh, that's kind of the darker one. Is there a light blue? Purple? Could it be purple? I don't know. This is the problem. This is the only other problem. I am colorblind, so everything looks different to me. <laughs> so I'm literally just having to wing everything. Ah, we just hope for the best, don't we? It's for a lovely cause. Like I said, guys, if you do want to go ahead and donate to the wonderful charity Make-A-Wish International, you can do that by my um, Tiltify link. It is pinned there in the uh, description and it's in the uh, the chat now as well. Um, no pressure to donate, of course, but if you do donate, we are trying to get to a goal, firstly, of the opening date from Disneyland Paris. And that was actually a few days ago now, uh, in 1992, which is pretty cool. So that is the first goal. And then once we uh, get past that, we're going for $200, uh, which I know is a lot. It is definitely a lot, but it is, like I said, for a really good cause. This charity actually did something for me um, when I was younger as, as well. They actually did grant me a wish. Um, and my wish was to go to Disneyland Paris. So that is why I am building this today. So yeah, it is hand on heart, a very, very good cause. And um, just seeing the, the work they do, it generally does make me cry. Like I've, I've sat late at night sometimes, come across one of their posts on Instagram or something and literally had a good old cry because yeah, it's it's very upsetting some of the stuff they do in, in the best possible way. So definitely go and support them in whatever way you can. Oh, am I going to use... I'll use cyan here. Cyan still, like, pops out, but it's not as brutal as the grey, I don't think. Although it could be grey, actually, in the floor. Oh, my goodness, I'm getting myself frazzled. Like the bacon-flavoured crisps. <laughs> Does anyone like those? Frazzles. I'm not really a crisp type of guy, and also they're a bit greasy for me. I'm not really a greasy fan, greasy food fan. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume someone's typing right now. <laughs> right, we're going to a point. This is gonna be the most horrible looking compass you will ever see in your life. But yeah, we make it work. We make it work. We're trying our best. <laughs> um, is that good? Is that good? It's not great, but it will do. Do I just keep it at the points? I think it looks better at the points. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at the points. That looks... Oh, God. I don't know if Make-A-Wish know what they're getting themselves in for. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty good. Uh, there's a lot more... Actually, that could work. Hey, that looks pretty cool, actually. Kind of impressed with that. That's, it's not the best, but like, it's come a bit. Yeah, it's, it's come along a bit. That looks like a compass, doesn't it? A, a, a very square one, but it looks like a compass. Can I see Ronnie's messages? Oh, sorry, bro. Um, I can see your messages, but I just have missed a few. Should I build the castle a few blocks up? I would recommend it, bro, because we're going to be trying to build the basement area as well. Um, so to make sure we have enough space for everything, it's probably ideal to, to leave yourself a little bit more room. Especially if you're on a super flat like I am. Obviously you know how uh, troublesome they can be. Right here what I'm going to do is actually build like whites next to my blues here. Um, in order to build like a surrounding area. But luckily our Minecraft character won't fall in there. Unless we have two steps obviously this way around. So we're all good there. We don't want any like children falling down there. Imagine going to Disney and just falling down a hole. That would not be ideal. <laughs> right. Uh, I need grey. Stone. You will do me nicely. Where are you though? Or do I want to use another material? I can never make up my mind. Oh, gosh. 
I think I feel like I should have got a back pillow for this. I'm literally on the edge of my seat, trying to <laughs> trying to make sure I build well. <laughs> ah, this will do. This will do. Yeah, it's not bad. It, it could use some work, but I can always work on that afterwards, can't I? It doesn't have to be perfect right now. I just need dimensions, and then I can come back to bits and pieces afterwards. If I do these with carpet, then I can make them really pop out of the ground. Whereas the rest can stay in. Yeah, I think that looks good. It, yeah. Yeah, that's... Let's leave it at that. And then... If we need to come back to it, we will come back to it. But for now, sorted. Tick that off the list. Uh, now I have some more detective work to find now. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no worries, dude. Go and uh, say hello to your grandmother from me. Say, good old wheel says hello. <laughs> okay, let me just go down the chat. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Enter at your own risk. Um, what is the dimensions for the pathway? That's a good plan. Good point. Um... Actually, I'm going to do a tutorial on this, bro. So if you want to go ahead and build your own version, then, you know, feel free. Because otherwise, if I give dimensions, it will, it will give away the tutorial in the future. So I don't, want to, I don't want to spoil too much for future builders. But if you build a rough dimension here, just try and get to a point of seven. That's what I've done up here. So you'll have a middle block for when you reach the castle. Um, so seven at the very top and then come down forward uh, by one and then twos until you reach the, uh, the pathway here at the very front. Right, back to my sandstone fence. Okay. I will actually use birch as well. See, we're lucky here because we have um, birch as well. That's the same, like a similar color. So that's very useful because they're thinner. Um, but it is a bit, bit tricky, isn't it? Oh, gosh. How can I be with... with... <laughs> <laughs> for new tutorials based on Olden Towers oh okay gosh blimey that would be in insane building Olden Towers in Minecraft Keegan Minecraft what is up my friend thank you so much for being the stream I hope you're doing fantastic today thank you so much for coming by see it's lovely to be here at a different time of streaming because I don't yet like usually get to talk to the American viewers so uh, for those of you guys across the pond over in the states it is lovely to uh, finally be able to talk to you and uh, say thank you for watching my channel and my content uh, when I'm usually doing streams, it's quite early in the like the evening, so um, we mostly just have Brits here, which obviously no complaints here. But it is lovely to go further afield and and uh, talk to you guys as well. Right. <laughs> oh my word, Squishy! What is up, bro? Good to see you. Thank you for joining the stream. It's not a touring orchard. What is up, my friend? Thank you so much for coming by. You have made it indeed. You legend. Thank you so much. It is good to see you. It's me. <laughs> it is you. I am so happy to see you. Thank you so much for coming by. Right, what I'm going to do here is I'm not too worried about building like the, the bridge part of it right now. But I do know that this goes up. It's going to go like up a little bit further than what we have. So... I do need to do that, don't I? It starts to like arch up into a gradient, but not like too steep until we get to the lighter grey. And the lighter grey, I'm going to have to use stone for, I think. And then I'll use stone bricks for the actual castle, because obviously it's bricky. <laughs> bricky. No, I use blocks up this way. How's this looking? Is that looking like it's going up in a platform? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Pretty much. You know, I actually did start building the Disney castle one time before. Um, well, not actually the Disney castle. I started building Disneyland before and I got as far as the Disneyland Hotel Garden, which for those that have been to Disney know that that is literally outside of the park. So <laughs> I didn't even get inside the park. That is my first attempt at getting inside the park with uh, the actual Phantom Manor. So, um, yeah, good to uh, good to finally be doing this. Right, how do we start this? With a lovely pillar with a lamppost on. Of course we do. 
Absolutely gorgeous. That is not what I wanted. Uh, nor is that. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Trust the process. Could it be? Could it be? Yeah, it looks okay. But then it's a case of doing the wall behind. These walls have, like, really fancy patterns. And I don't want to, like, not, you know, not build them. So... You know, because of your leg, do you uh, do you have to walk with a crutch everywhere or only sometimes? All the time, bro. All the time with crutches. Um, that is how I move. <laughs> They're like extra legs, but on the outside of my body. I have four legs, but three of them work and two of them are metal. <laughs> no, I, I, um, I do use the crutches all the time. I used to be in a wheelchair, so it could be worse. You know, I could be back in the wheelchair, but no, thank you. I would rather not. It's good for arm muscle, but it's just not very fun. Like, anyone will tell you who is in a wheelchair that just being in a wheelchair is not cool. Like, when you're not in one, everyone wants to be in one. Trust me, you don't. You do not. When you've been in it for more than, like, a week, it gets old very quick. Not fun. I'm trying to build, like, these fancy fence posts. Because they have these, like, swirly designs on. And I don't, like I said, I don't want to miss them out. Because they're very important to, like... Disney's theming, but it's a case of how on earth am I going to build that <laughs> without making it look ridiculous? It is going to be hard. That's why this is like a really, oh, excuse me, oh, this is like a really good challenge. That's what I was going to say before I uh, consume the earth with my yawn. All right, let's do, let's use, let's use creepers. What screams invitational than creepers? Nothing else. Creepers are very invitational. If I saw a creeper standing outside of the Disney castle, I would really want to go inside. It would have made my day. Make my day. I'm just checking out. Have I got the right dimensions here? It looks a bit weird. It looks a bit off on one side. Four. Four. It is fine. I know that Typical usually spots these errors and then calls me out for them, which is very helpful. Dude, I'm, I'm hoping that you'll keep your beady eyedness for the stream. I'm going to need it just in case. You know what's happened before. You remember what happened with the Gosh stream? I literally was like building this massive section and you saw it was like off by like a block, which would have like affected the entire build. So yeah, you spotted it luckily and uh, sorted it out for me. But yeah, got to be careful. There's like a bench here. So I'm trying to build a bench now. It's like integrated into the fence. Kind of like that. Before going into that one. It looks a bit straight at the moment. Like a bit too sharp of a corner. Maybe if I moved it up. That looks better. How many of these before the... Okay, that's fine. There's only one. And that's actually... Yeah, that's actually perfect. It's in the middle of the compass. Yeah, oh, that's good. Okay, I made a mistake. That was actually good. <laughs> I was meant to do that. I was, I was meant to do that. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, totally. <laughs> right. So. Curve these around. To there. Take our bench materials again. It's going to be a big old bench, but that's fine. It's supposed to be a little bit of a big bench. And there's also another post just past the um thing here, which will be just about here. We'll stick that one on there. Actually, you know what? I think I, I will use smooth sandstone. Otherwise, you're going to have too many textures. And like I said, I want everything to be... See, that? yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Do we have... um? We don't. I was going to say, do we have like smooth um, sandstone walls? But we don't, sadly. Rip. I saw a guy on TikTok who's making a go-kart out of scrap wood and trolley wheels. Oh my god. I would love one of those so badly. That would be awesome. Imagine like rolling up to the supermarket in one of them. That would be wicked. We should do a collab with Mo Mumbo Jumbo. Ah, oh, that would be awesome. That would be a dream come true. But sadly, I think I'm a little bit too small of a channel to collab with such a legend at this point. But that's okay. Maybe one day, hey? Maybe one day. Someone clip that just in case it happens. <laughs> How do you do this in your memory? 
My memory? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm looking at a picture. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at a... Um, uh, I'm looking at Google Images right now. Um, I've saved a photo. If I could show you guys, I would. But um, I can put it in the Discord, I guess. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it in the Discord. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now. It's not the most, like, um, high-quality image, but you don't really need them. I'm just looking at um, Google Images for, like, inspiration, really. If I put it in the Pictures tab on the Discord, then you guys can see what I'm on about here. There you go. That is what I'm looking at right now. That's exactly where I'm looking at <laughs> to uh, to go ahead and build this this kind of fence that goes along here. Right now then, there's quite a lot of these fence posts, so I'm going to have to do this fancy design. Right, what I will say, guys, is don't judge this too early. Like, I know it looks pretty bad at the moment, but do leave it with me because I do have an idea to come back to this later and do a bit more with it, you know? So right now, this is not going to be the final product. This is just going to be how to, like, get the dimensions to where I need to be. So hopefully, we can get up to the actual castle and then start the building of the castle today. That is the aim. That is the goal. It's a very ambitious goal, but we'll get there. <laughs> right, I need to build the rest of the path. Okay. Add sandstone bricks. Sandstone bricks would be really helpful, wouldn't they? That would be very, very helpful indeed. Um, stone slabs, maybe... I think actually polished andesite might be good for the pathway here. Because it's quite like a flat, but it could actually just be stone. We'll just use stone just uh, as a precaution. Because I think the andesite might be a little bit too shiny. And the contrast between the two materials here would look pretty bad. So I'm not going to do that. But I will use stone. Stone and sandstone look absolutely awesome together. Don't they? They kind of like flow really lovely. Right, we're going up a little bit further here. By like a slab just for a little bit and then we're starting to like curve around the corner here so this is going to be interesting because the the um castle isn't going to be like a straight in a straight line it's going to be like off to the left just a little bit but quite a way up this is the path so far right how am i going to do this oh i think what i'm going to do is start from here build a rough kind of estimate of what I want to do here. Right, so that's going to curve around to the corner here by two blocks. So I'll go up here a little bit. Three. That'll do. This is going to be like one of those side balconies where you can like take a photo or something. So if I do one, one of those just there and then we're going to go up a little bit more of a corner. So we'll start to go up by two. Just for a little bit, not too far. Three, will that do? Three lots of two? Yeah, I think that'd be good. So on this side, I need to copy it, but I need to go in a block before I do, uh, start copying it, just so everything remains seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. And then here for seven. Yeah, that's kind of like arching around now, isn't it? Like a snake. And then up this way, I need to do another one of these, but it's on a corner. This is going to be awkward. So three three like that but if I cut this one off and then do like that then the new balcony should start up here the new um, fence sorry should start just about here coming back in so like yeah there yeah I think I know what I'm looking at, I think. <laughs> okay. You should use ender bricks for sandstone bricks. Ender bricks. Ender bricks, ender bricks, ender bricks. Ender bricks. What are these? Do we have ender bricks? I don't even... Oh, do you mean end bricks? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Sorry, sorry. I was like, end bricks? Ender bricks? What's an ender brick? Yeah, end bricks. Actually, that could be a good idea. I will, uh, I'll check that out. Hey, we all want to hear my not-so-great story of what happened when I went to see Stranger Things live in London. Go on then, bro. 
Hit me with it. Go for it. Where you could try a gradient into the andesite. Well, luckily, actually, mate, there's um, there's like a line that separates the two. So it goes from these like cobble deep state area or like the darker grey into the lighter grey by just a straight line, which is very helpful for us as, as builders. Um, but I do like what you're saying, though. I'm going to go ahead and do a gradient maybe for the stone part, just so it's not just all the same type of grey, because I think that'll look a bit boring, won't it? So we will see what happens here. If you want to do andesite, maybe try a gradient into it. Maybe deep slate, tough cobblestone stone and andesite. That'd be cool. Do you know when your Hawkins High will be finished? Good question. Um, it is a very good question, actually. I haven't thought about that one either because I've been doing the chunk build for the bikes. But I will... What I'll probably do when I end these streams. So maybe, maybe towards the end of next week. Um, it depends on my timeline because I'm a little bit busy at the moment. But um, I would like to get back into streaming behind the build builds so I can actually focus up on builds I need to complete. So stuff like the Hawkins High School and um, Hawkins Square because I haven't completed both of those yet and obviously they're long time series. So uh, yeah, but I have been working on another Stranger Things project um, behind the scenes that I haven't shown anyone. Um, it is actually a remaster of something very, very uh, old on my channel, like one of my first ever structures. But I, I am working on a remaster that's just going to be a slightly better um, with all the new materials that have come in and just my my like newer build technique. So um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that one too. So yeah. What I would like Mojang to add is... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> bug fixes. <laughs> I mean, it's a simple one, but like we do need a lot of bugs fixing squashing we have so many right there's my balcony there on that side i may have to like correct that because right now it looks a bit messy and then we're going to go in another couple blocks up here maybe three this time because it kind of maybe arched around on the last one and then this one has a bit of a jump kind of from the balcony there going forward and then you reach the castle kind of like up here. So out of corner. So I'll do two for these ones as well. And then maybe even have, <clears throat> excuse me again, the uh, the fence post up this one as well. So I don't think we're going to go up too far again, but like maybe the second area. So here we'll do another slab area and then we'll have to get onto another block above. If I fill all this in, I'll know what space I have. <laughs> I love it when we're starting from like nothing and then working up because it starts to look really cool. And right now it's looking just like a bunch of blocks together. But it will come out really cool in the end, I hope. Fingers crossed. I have your guys' support, so I reckon it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's not too bad at the moment. So yeah, I was thinking between this balcony and that balcony, I'm going to have like a, a gradient here. Just like this. Maybe even if I do slabs for a few blocks. Just so it's not like very sharp in its approach. Because otherwise it, it might look a bit bit too bit too much. So like that. And then I'll go to the underside afterwards and sort all that as well. Because uh, I don't want all that to be there. Here we go. By the time we made it uh, to the tube stop, we had 30 minutes to the show. Oh no. Oh no. That sounds horrible. Getting caught up in traffic or something in London is just horrible because it's just so busy. It takes like way too long. Here we go. Look at this. This is really starting to come along. All right, liking this now. <laughs> like I was hating it beforehand. <laughs> I didn't mean a lot. <laughs> oh, I absolutely despised it before I did this. <laughs> I didn't mean a lot. Sorry. 
<laughs> Five million escalators. Yeah, I, don't... <laughs> I know he's not even exaggerating. <laughs> there literally is. Um, we sprinted them all uh, and we saw a train pull into the station. So we ran on that. Oh my God. I hated it before. I absolutely hated it. Oh God. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just, I wasn't happy with the direction. If we say that, it sounds much better. <laughs> no, I was just kind of winging my design. So I didn't know if it's going to be fine or not. But I actually quite like it now. <laughs> Have you seen, um... I haven't actually replied to the comments yet. I need to reply to the comments and I apologize for not doing so. Um, but I've seen the comments on my latest Instagram post on my guides channel's Instagram. And uh, you've got fish over there still calling me a 42 year old man because of what my brother said in the last stream. Which by the way is totally not true. I am like half that age and a little bit less. But still it's... <laughs> It's like the run the longest running YouTube joke in all time. <laughs> oh, there we go. It kind of looks like I'm building Hogwarts. Oh my god. Don't tempt me. That'd be fun. It would be fun, but it would also kill me. That'd be so tricky. Right, the balconies aren't really showing up too well. So I may have to like bulge them out even further. But as long as I know where they are, like the rough placements, then it's going to be fine, isn't it? Yeah. Dream building update that nobody else for. Sandstone, terracotta bricks. Give all slabs a stair variant. Yes, I agree with that. Definitely. Uh, a way to add stairs sideways. Place blocks in an L. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that could be cool. That'd be interesting, actually, wouldn't it? Wow, that could be weird. Imagine the build, like, stuff you could do with that. He is 42. I'm not 42. <laughs> Build Hogwarts. Oh my god. I looked at that um I looked at that uh community post that you guys said about where I said about the um shall I do Star Wars builds for um May? And yeah, I was expecting to look at it and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could build like a lightsaber, I could build like I don't know, an X Wing, or like I could build a little scene. You guys were like, build the Death Star, build a Star Destroyer. <laughs> what do you think I am? I'm just one man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness I love it though I love it <laughs> bringing the energy I love it oh my goodness <laughs> oh thank you so much for popping in the stream April thank you so much and thank you for all of your help um, I really appreciate it uh, I mean it's not much progress to go off so far but I'm starting to build my castle uh, it's, it's, it's coming along <laughs> we have uh, the starting area the little compass in the floor and then the pathway and now we're getting onto the castle so you, you popped in at the right time. We're getting up here. Uh, it's going to be a pain. <laughs> this is where the real fun begins. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what have I got myself into? <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Are those creeper faces in the bricks? They are. They are. They're supposed to represent the fences that have the little, like, um, murals in the side of them. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's the best we have in Minecraft. Obviously, like, with unmodded Minecraft, we don't have that many textures uh, to work with, especially not with, like, fence patterns at this scale. And I'm trying to build this to, like, Minecraft scale. So, obviously, uh, a main, like, human in Minecraft is two blocks high. So, similar to what I did with the Phantom Manor, where I built that at, like, you know, um, Minecraft character scale, I almost said minifigure scale, we have, like, the house looking like it could be used as a, as a survival house. Uh, so I'm kind of going with that with the castle, but yeah, it's going to take a while, definitely. I mean, this one took forever, so yeah, but it's coming out nicely. I, I really like the way this looks. I'm really proud of this build, uh, so I'm hoping to get this done again over here with the castle. We shall see. We shall see. A human in MC is six foot. Really? Blimey. Did not know that. That's crazy. Hello, Cosmic. How are you doing, bro? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping the stream. Hope you're doing fantastic today. We made it to the street that the theatre was on and ran down the street towards the theatre with about 15 minutes before the show. Gosh, you were cutting it close, bro. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad you got there in time. I'm not. I'm not 42. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are crazy. 
Adds an end update. That would be cool. Like another end update. Yeah, definitely. Have we ever had an end update? Or is it just the um the never that got an update? I don't remember. I put Max next to the devs next to Darth Vader. Oh my god, that's cool. Fair enough. Fair enough. Why not? Right, so this is gonna be the fence, which means I need to build Castle Foundations up to the fence. Probably about there. How many blocks is that? About five? Four? Four. Okay. Am I doing it a block away or am I doing it right on it? Should be right on it, really. Just about here. There we go. And then we can add, add like a sandstone-y kind of like archway over. Maybe, no, no, no. We'll do end bricks for this one. Because it's going to be part of the castle, isn't it? So it needs to have a lot of texture. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice again. It was okay. It came back for like half an hour and then it's like leaving again. Magically. Shame. <laughs> right. If I do three... No, no. It's got to be a lot taller than that, hasn't it? Let's do four. And then we can come in two blocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two blocks up here. And we're trying to get to a single point, so I need to go in a few blocks here. Two. Does that look a little bit too arched? I think it might. What if I change the top one to three, or even just singular ones now? All the way to the roof. That looks way better. What do you guys think? Does that look cool? Bear in mind, this is going to be the entranceway into the Disneyland Park, so like, pretty important. <laughs> you gotta make it look good. Checked out tickets and we had to go in the side door. Oh my word. Adult drink for the mums. <laughs> I love the way you said that. Strange edits, what is up my friend? Thank you so much for dropping the stream. I hope you're doing fantastic today. Guys, by the way, I'm sorry to plug this again, but please do remember, this is a charity stream, and if you do want to go ahead and donate, no pressure to, of course, but if you do want to donate to the wonderful Make-A-Wish uh, International, you can go ahead and do that with my Tiltify link that is pinned there in the chat. And there's also links in the description below. And you can find out a bit more about what Make-A-Wish do with description links as well. So definitely pop over, the, over there, like I said. Um, like I said at the beginning of the stream, and for those that haven't been here yet, I was actually um, luckily, lucky enough to receive a wish from Make-A-Wish myself. So it is a very, very worthy cause. Um, they do absolutely wonderful work, and um, it is really important to me that we support them. So if you guys want to go ahead and donate, please click the link there. Awesome. Any uh, Anything can be used as a survival house wheel. Just look at Hermitcraft. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Yes, that would be crazy. Are you going to stream on Twitch anytime soon? I'll be honest with you. I was thinking of giving up Twitch, but I'm, I'm going to not. I'm going to stick it out. It's just I need to get into streaming. Like, I need to figure out how, like, to do it, you know? Because uh, I'm not really a streamer. I'm definitely more of a, uh, a YouTuber. Um, I like to do videos rather than streams. But um, when it streams like this, where it's for a charity, for like a really good reason, um, then I do enjoy doing them. It's just, um, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not the best at streaming, I don't think. So like, and I'm definitely my biggest critic. Um, I think everyone is with themselves. So yeah, I just prefer tutorial making and like, video editing because I can edit out stuff that I don't like whereas like streaming if I make a mistake if I burp or something that is going to be live on YouTube across the nation across the world even there is no limit and I do not want my burps to be worldwide <laughs> so no no you know what I'm saying though uh, so I need to look into it but I'm gonna do my very best to get back over there that was a very long-winded way of saying yes I will try <laughs> I saw the new Godzilla and Kong movie last week oh it's so good isn't it it's really cool that is a really cool movie. That would be good. Yeah, biomes and uh, mobs like the nether. Should I put... That would be pretty cool. Right, there's a black line that goes across the floor here. I don't know if that's like... Because the castle is modular and can just be replaced when it needs repairs. <laughs> it's Disney. They have infinite funds, maybe. <laughs> if I just do this. I think that would that'll look good. Yeah, that looks good. And then down here, there's another one. It's kind of on this this line here. Maybe even if I do it here, really separate the two. And also separates the gradient, doesn't it? Or oh, actually, do you think that looks better here? Probably. 
Let's do it here. Yeah, much better. Okay, cool. As for lampposts, I'm going to take myself nether brick, just because that looks awesome. I need some yellow. I need something to do with yellow. I don't want to use a whole block. I also don't want to use campfires. I could use a lantern, and then... Oh, that's actually a good idea. If I put a nether brick slab on top of the lantern, to like hold it up in the air so it's like floating, that could be cool. Apologies, guys. I'm missing quite a lot of the chat here, but you guys are on it today, and I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much. It's so good to be back uh, doing a stream for you all. Especially, so thank you so much. The actors had cold... Oh, football guy. <laughs> um, but uh, it was actually really good. I really enjoyed going. And I went with my, my entire family, so it was really fun. Right, how are we doing this? I'm trying to build these pillars here with the... With the funky... Lanterns and on and stuff, but... It's going to be a bit troublesome. See, that looks way too big. But then I guess if the, t if the castle is going to look massive as well, that won't actually stand out too badly. But it doesn't look the best, does it? Mm, I don't think so. Like that on its own, just... Nah, that doesn't do it for me. Okay, how are we going to do this then? Hmm. We'll figure this out. We will figure this out. I What I do with like stuff like this, where it's little things, as I look for a little bit of inspiration on Pinterest... That is like the best source of inspiration. For those that don't have Pinterest and you're a Minecraft builder, go ahead and get it. It is awesome. And thank you so much for 20 people here in the chat, guys. That is absolutely mad. I just saw it ping up on my PlayStation and I just almost screamed. That's crazy. <laughs> thank you so much. Will you post a tutorial on this build? Yeah, absolutely I will. Absolutely. This is a, a definitely a more appropriate build for a tutorial. Um, and so far, so good. What I'm going to do is quickly mark out where I'm going to build lampposts. And then add these in afterwards. I don't want to do it too soon. Um, because, like I said, I can't really figure out the design right now. So I'll make a note of this and then come back to it later. that will be the best thing to do, won't it? So yeah, we've got two balconies there. And we have two balconies up here. There's going to be probably a lantern here and here. And then probably one here and here. Yep. That looks good. How many blocks distance is that? About five? Mm, six. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then up here, that is three, four, oh, six. Perfect. Okay, that's good. I counted that right. My maths was actually mathing. That's crazy. We received more announcements. Jeez, dude, it sounds like you had an absolutely, like, crazy time. JX, what is up, my friend? Thank you so much for dropping the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Stevie Nicks is. I feel like I've heard the name. Is it a musician? Are they a musician? I could be completely off, but I, I feel like it is. Right. <laughs> okay, troublesome parts. I actually, on my um, Tiltify account, I made like a schedule of like how we were going to be doing this. Um, but I feel like I was way off. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, episode one is going to be the... Uh, the foundations of the build. Getting all the foundations done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. We, we'll, we'll, we'll sort this out afterwards. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right, I don't want the balcony to come... Oh, sorry, this turret to come out too far. It only needs to come up to where the lamppost is. And it, the lamppost is going to be, like, on number two here. So, like, in the middle here. So, yeah, that's about right. That's about accurate. If only you can make curves in Minecraft. Like you said about the stairs on the sides. If you could do that, that would be so helpful. That would be really helpful. Any suspicion that Typical is on that account that just joined? It's a stretch, I know. Uh, I... To be honest, I don't, I don't think so. You're, you're bluffing, bro. You're bluffing. There's no way. Can't be. <laughs> um, oh, man. But you got to watch the show in the end, did you? The show would... Oh, no. Have to be cancelled. No, that was such like a... It was like reading an actual storybook. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo, yeah, baby. That's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> good old penguins. I love that guy. So cool. Very, very good streamer. 
I don't get to catch his streams live, but I do get to watch the um, the VODs afterwards on YouTube. And uh, yeah, just always make me laugh. I really do like his uh, his streams. They're funny. Well, his VODs. Oh, that's so that's such a shame. That really is such a shame. I hope that uh, you manage to, you know, get things sorted out for the next time, though. Fleetwood Mac, of course they are. Of course they are. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. Well, I learned something new today. Thank you for that. Ah, blimey. I'll be honest, I'm not very, um, not very good at remembering names. I'm very good with faces, but just not very good with names. So that's my bad. <laughs> Look at that, guys. We're, we're making progress. Woo! <laughs> now then, <laughs> it could be a case if I come back to this later and be like, oh, that looks awful. But for now, actually, I'm going to destroy this because it does look awful. I'm going to try <laughs> I'm gonna try and do a bit better here. I have an idea. It's all right. I'm going to basically try and like build over the archway in the middle, firstly, um, in order to give it a bit more structure before I actually go ahead and like commit to the, the turret locations. Because right now I'm not happy with that. So I don't want to like go too far in with the build and then not be happy. You know, it's not good. If you're not happy, don't do it. Don't do it, you know. If we go three blocks above the archway. I know it looks a bit funky because we haven't like packed out the actual arches yet. Which is what I'm about to do now. From back here, that looks better, I think. It's got a bit more texture. But I will use stairs to really make it stand out a bit, because otherwise it's going to look a bit strange. Also give the um, wall something to like actually latch onto, which I think looks better. Sort of better. <laughs> Slightly better. <laughs> what about the actual blocks? Just experimenting here, guys. So if you see me like just building and going quiet, don't worry. Just having a moment. Okay. What are we thinking? The wall looks better? I think the wall looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, probably. Probably, probably, probably. Hmm. Wait, what is going on in chat? Oh, no way. Oh, you live in Scotland as well. Blimey, dude. So you came all the way to London for then uh, the show to be cancelled. Oh, that's such a shame. That really is such a shame. I'm sorry to hear that. But yeah, hopefully uh, you'll get another chance to go and see it. Because that does seem like a huge disruption. How are we looking here? Again, this might be a case of I come back to this afterwards and then on a different day, like, change it up again. So for now, I'll keep it like that and then change it up afterwards. Basically, what I'm doing is, like I said, trying to get dimensions today. This is my main goal, my main objective. And what I'm going to do now is try and speed run some of these, uh, these other challenges here. <laughs> challenges I'm facing which is going to be next to build these turrets. Now then, it's going to be directly next to the castle, isn't it? This one. Oh, that's a really good photo. Oh, whoever took this photo, you are a legend. This is awesome. On the other photo I was looking at, you couldn't actually see there's like a tiny gap either side of the um, the archway with the portcullises, which means there's like a... Um, a tiny little space for more of the stone before reaching the turret, but you can't see that on the original picture, which would have really confused me and thrown me off. What I might try and do here is build them into actual like circumferences like this to be able to build like all of these in a structure and then come back to them afterwards and then build them up, um, like, 
high, if that makes sense. So hopefully we can get this done. I think this will be better than like trying to just wing it, you know? I do like winging things, but as this is a very, very big build, and I do not want to mess this up because it's for a very important cause, um, then it's important to uh, get this done correctly. That looks good so far. What do you think? You think that looks good? It kind of looks like um, a helicopter or like one of those Ospreys. <laughs> it's just going to take off magically. But, <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Cosmic. Thank you very much, bro. Had a good, had, like a really good time building that. It was, um, it was a build that I've been wanting to do, like I said, for a long, long time. Um, so to be able to finally actually have a tutorial out for it was really exciting. So yeah, thank you so much for for watching it. it. Means a lot. Right for the stone here, I'm going to use andesite. I know we actually have stone in Minecraft, but I'm using andesite because I think it looks better. I'm going to do a few of these blocks because the castle wall kind of comes in behind. It probably comes in here somewhere. Like this. Yeah, like that, I'd say. So the wall, the, the actual like stone face here is like up the side of the the tower. But this tower is going to be massive. It's just going to be just over the first point on our archway. Now the archway does have probably about three blocks on each end. So I'm going to start in the middle here. Three... That's pretty good, actually. Three already. If I do four, then come up down each side with one block. Like that. And then build these ones up as well. There we go. Yeah, that's better. The castle as well, I will texture as well. Like, at the moment, it's just going to be like this. Like I said, until I can work out dimensions and make sure everything is in the right spots and stuff, for now, everything will look a bit skew with. Like that. That is not going to be the, the way it will end, I assure you. See, it might even be a case of we extend this out even further. So that we actually have three blocks at the top here instead of just a singular one. Because I feel like what I want to do is kind of build these going down. Maybe not like that. Kind of like this. And then... Slowly tearing down for these little, like, castle walls, you know? It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. That's the whole point about this build. It is a bit tricky, though. Will you be doing a tutorial at some point? Absolutely, bro. This is going to be a tutorial at one point. Once it is finished, you're kind of seeing behind the scenes right now of how I'm going to plan this this build. Um, which, I mean, so far, it's looking like Hogwarts more than the castle. But it will get there eventually. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I mean, we have until Friday. So, like, right now, this is only episode one's progress. I think this is pretty good. Like, so far... I've made a lot more progress than I normally would in tutorials. So, when's the only thanks things? Num, 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 num. Uh, probably as soon as I get my English sorted out, bro. <laughs> what was that? When's the only fans thing coming? Uh, or happening? Uh, you mean the only wheels account? Um, oh, you must have seen the April Fool's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm actually releasing an entire line of clothing. Um... Very soon. Very soon, I hope. It's going to be awesome. Get yourself some... Uh, I can't say it on the stream because it's family friendly. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it, Will. <laughs> you make it sound like... It's, it's going to be a massive explosion if I say it or something. Something terrible is going to happen if I say it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, my energy has run out. I have to calm down before I overwork myself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely take a chill, bro. Take a chill pill. <laughs> I saw your comment I saw your comment my friend it's not adoring orchard I saw that I saw that I had to remove it because it's not family friendly we gotta, we gotta keep it all chill here 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. The underwear. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> it's the only time I'll break the rules about my uh, family friendliness on YouTube. I, it wasn't even like it's a terrible thing. It's just it's just a naughty word, isn't it, really? For, like, families. <laughs> families. Even though my family say way worse than that quite a lot. But even still, I'm trying to be universal. I'm not ruining it with one April Fool's joke. I mean, I may have already done so. I don't know. I haven't had any sponsorship requests, so that what does that tell you? I'm, j I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> uh. <laughs> As y'all were saying that, um, when was it? It must have been like a year ago. I was saying that we don't actually have any any sponsorship requests. <laughs> we never get them in the emails. You know why? It's because pretty much I don't really care. <laughs> I do I do YouTube just to like just for fun, to be honest. And it's really really good to do things like this to give back to communities um, that have done things for me in the past and to help you know people out. That's what I love about this this software, this program. Um, but like. <laughs> with sponsorships you really have to like tone down the way you are as a human being i think because like you have to sign a contract and stuff that's just not who i am <laughs> i can keep my mouth shut i really couldn't <laughs> i know i know exactly like i would absolutely love um something like a, a disney sponsorship like how cool would that be like that that is probably like a dream come true but i can imagine the rules that go with that and i can imagine a lot of the things i do right now um which are just for fun. Like, I imagine I probably wouldn't be able to stream, like, or at least be able to talk to viewers as much as I do, because uh, they do have a lot of rules like that. Yeah, I probably don't mean the thresholds. I, I That's definitely one thing as well, obviously. You know, Disney are not going to look for a channel with, like, 12k subs, are they? That's totally respectable. But also, also, they're not going to look at people like me, like I said. <laughs> and also, if they tell me some, like, news, I'm going to be like Tom Holland. I can't keep my mouth shut. Like, about surprises. I'm very, very bad at that. So, I yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, we're making like a Wheel Assassin short film for um, Disney+. Plus. Like, what? <laughs> I have to tell the subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. No, you're, you're totally right. Oh, I built this in the wrong spot. Where did you get the Demogorgon fruit? Oh, I just, I think I just, uh, it was my mum who bought it for me, actually. Um, it's, uh, it's a dragon fruit. They are, they are very, well, I say they're lovely. They're, they're an interesting flavor, definitely. You know what the best fruit is, in my opinion? Mangoes. Mangoes are the top tier of fruits. They really are lovely. Do like a good mango. <laughs> actually, I have some mango juice right behind me. Let's have a quick sip. Oh, yeah. Why did I say that like, um, like Homer with his duff? I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sound like Churchill from the ads. <laughs> For those in the UK, you haven't, you would know what I'm on about. <laughs> For those abroad, it's basically like, um, it's uh, an insurance advert, I think. And um, they use a dog, uh, which is like, um, what type of dog is it, guys? Do you know? Anyways, it's, um, it's a dog breed, a certain dog breed. And um, it, it's called Churchill. The mascot for the company is called Churchill. And he has like a nodding head. And he just goes, oh, yes. <laughs> In the adverts. That's all he does. <laughs> Mango banana smoothie for life. Oh, that sounds delicious. That really sounds good. Oh, sorry, guys. What, are, what uh, do you need to answer? Has anyone seen the new Disney movie Wish? I haven't actually seen it. I haven't actually um caught up with a lot of movies i need to i absolutely do need to i always forget um i i tell you what movie i loved recently from disney well it wasn't that recent now but um i really like the movie onward i thought that was really cool had a cool um cool like concept behind it i thought like the world it was in was really cool like mixing sort of fantasy with uh reality i thought that was pretty awesome right We are getting things done now, aren't we? It's coming along nicely. Not too shabby. Okay, it looks a bit shabby, but I assure you, it's coming along nicely. <laughs> I'm still thinking these turrets are a bit too big. 
because I don't know the scale I'm going for yet, and I don't want them to be like too big to overshadow what I'm doing behind. Maybe I should shrink them down a little bit. I'm not sure though. I want windows in these as well. Like I'm going to have a window here maybe. Actually, yeah, they might look better with the windows in, probably. There's another window like here. There's another two windows on the actual arch here. Oh, these are not windows, sorry. These are the um, chain um, posts for the actual portcullis. So these are going to be... They will be here. Um, but I'll need to put the wall in on both sides here. Like that. So you have the portcullis kind of like... Oops, sorry, I knocked my mic there. The chains coming down from the, the walls there. And yeah. The Doctor 98, what is up my friend? Thank you so much for dropping the stream. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Onward, I know, right? Onward is awesome. Who's a sci-fi fan here? I mean, I can't I can't say I'm not a sci-fi fan. I love Star Wars. I really do love Star Wars. Encanto, yeah, not really a fan of Encanto myself either. Uh, I didn't think it was bad. Like, there's never a bad Disney film, let's face it. It's just that they, like, I didn't really enjoy the storyline, you know? I thought Bruno was the highlight. <laughs> that was about it. Um, but yeah, no, I thought the um, the art style, always beautiful. Always looks absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, no, I agree with you. Wasn't my cup of tea either. Do enjoy Star Wars. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Star Wars is awesome. Gotta love Star Wars. Encanto was not enchanting. <laughs> Hey, speaking of um, enchanting, have you guys uh, watched the... Was it was there like a new enchanted movie? I think there was, wasn't there? Oh, I love Turning Red. Turning Red was awesome. I actually quite like that one. It was a good movie as well. It just had um, like a, a clever storyline, I thought. Like it was it was clever how they mixed things together um, and told like a quite an important story, I thought. Didn't like enchanting because... You don't really like mus musicals. Oh, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Um, yeah, exactly. No, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Will, you, since you're a sci-fi fan, have you seen the movie... The movie I, Robot? With... Uh, is it Will Smith? I have indeed. Is it? Is it I, I Robot with uh, Will Smith? I think it is. If so, I, like, I do like that film. It's really good. Hello, Patrick. How's it going, bro? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping the stream. I haven't seen you in a while. How has things been with you? Uh, I'm all good, bro. Thank you. Soul is... Oh, Soul. I haven't seen Soul. I'm a huge jazz fan. I love jazz. Like, I... I I'll say I'm a metalhead. I am a metalhead. I do love metal music. Like, extremely, extremely loud metal music. But then jazz is, like, my go-to guilty pleasure. Like, I love jazz music as well. Um, I want to watch Soul because I've heard that's about like it's got really jazzy vibes so I want to watch that ah yeah that's the one that's the one yeah I do love that one that's good why does this need to be done by Friday it, oh it doesn't it doesn't need to be done by Friday no it's just um, I'm going to do some acting work over next week at the beginning so I'm not going to get a chance to film very much next week um, so yeah I, I want to get as much done as I can before I go away for a little bit. But I'm only going to Wales, so it's only around, I say around the corner. I live in the south of England, so I'm going to have to like basically jump countries for a minute. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'll be back next week anyways to do some more. Fingers crossed. I'm just trying to figure out where to go from here. Like, I've got my two turrets here. Oh, these are small turrets. I've just noticed there's a bigger one around the side. Okay, that's fine. I can I can shrink this down. I was just looking at that thinking I think this is a bit too big. It is. Right, I'm time time to undo some progress. This is the only bad thing about Minecraft is you can't just like click and then boom, done. Well, you can, but it just feels a bit like like an undo button and I want to do this properly. I'm not I'm not slacking off here. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> right. Soul is amazing. Yeah, I um I do need to watch that one. I really want to see it. Hey, maybe tonight. Who knows? I 
I think what I'm going to have to do here is shrink these down to maybe... Well, I don't want to make them too square, so I'm going to try and make them maybe two blocks. Because they don't need to be massive, but they do need to be, like, doing the job um, for my turrets here. So... How far do they come from the front? Not far at all. Two blocks, and then we go back in. Two blocks, and then back to the corner there. How about that? If we check this from above, we should be able to see how um, how we're doing here. How we're getting on. Yeah, that looks way better, doesn't it? That already looks way better. Cool. That's good. That's fine. I haven't made too much progress um, already to, like, change this up, so it's actually fine. I was just trying to think, like, it looked a bit too large, and then I saw the one around the corner. There's, like, a third one um, around the corner on the right side, and that is, like, a very big turret, like, the one that we just built uh, in size. So if we build these this big, we're going to have to build that one, like, three times the size, so it's going to be, you know, not look good. You need to make the... Uh, Millennium Falcon, oh my goodness me. I had, I do have a video on my channel for the Millennium Falcon. It's not a tutorial, but um, it was way back when I saw the Rise of Skywalker in the cinema. And um, I was pretty new to Minecraft then. And to, uh, well, to YouTube, anyways, with Minecraft. So I went ahead and built it, but uh, it's not very good. <laughs> but if you want to check that video out, feel free. It is an old one, so you may have to go searching a bit. But uh, it is on the channel. And you'll be able to see how far my buildings come, hopefully. As well, because I think it's come quite a long way. There we go. That's much better in size, isn't it? Perfect. With a fully detailed interior. Oh, absolutely. You can't build on a Falcon any other way. I want to build um, a lot of Star Wars ships. I think that'd be really cool. What is your favourite Star Wars film, guys? This might divide the assassinhood. We'll see. <laughs> it could do. It could do. I'll say I'm not really a, um, oh, hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Sola. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh, no. No, it's cool. Thank you. Thank you for staying. I appreciate that. It's safe. <laughs> um, yeah, if anyone's not in the Discord server already, you can feel free to join with the link that Nightbot just dropped in the chat. I dropped about five minutes ago, but I'm slow and I read it just now. Um, so feel free. <laughs> yeah, musicals aren't really my cup of tea either. Like, not the most part of them, anyways. Um, I will I will watch them. Like, I, some of my favourite films, I say this, but some of my favourite films are musicals. Like, I really like um, A Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, that's one of my favourites, and that's a musical. But, like, as far as stage show musicals go, I'm not really a huge fan. Um, but my, my girlfriend is actually a theatre actress, um, so I am, I'm learning to get better at watching them. Um, <laughs> nah, I, I do appreciate them, it's just, um, I think it's because I can't sing, so I'm like, I'm like watching them and I just can't understand, like, them as well as I should be able to, like, I feel like if I had a passion for singing and maybe dancing then I'd be able to relate to them a lot more and be able to like enjoy them a lot more. But as I can't do either, then I just sit there and I'm kind of just a bit bored. But um, I do appreciate the talent that goes into them. I'm a drummer, baby. <laughs> we don't dance behind the kit. Well, we do. We headbang. But that's about it. <laughs> what sort of music are you guys into? Oh, music from Stranger Things. That is the best type of music. That's so cool. Boss music, hell yeah. Boss me music is awesome as well. Guys, we are coming to the end of stream already. Can you believe it? That's actually mad. It's been such a good stream as well. Like, I don't want to leave just yet. I might stay on for like 15 minutes extra today, just because I started a little bit late. But um, on a normal day, we will have to end at half past nine. So I'll stay on for about 15 minutes just because I made a lot of mistakes today. Um, but I will have to go at about quarter to 10 uh, GMT. Could change up my wall here slightly. How about this? How about this? Now if I bring the, um, the rock face along a bit. 
like this. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. Wonderful. That's awesome. I've missed your uh, your live streams. Are you going to do another Hawkins stream soon? Thank you, bro, for asking. Um, I'm hoping to. Yeah, I was just saying to the chat, actually, before this. I was saying that I'm hoping to add overlays to PlayStation streams now. I've just learned how to do it today. So I'm hopeful that I can uh, attempt to, to do that and make them more professional and then get back to streaming with viewers on uh, Hawkins and stuff. And also get some more behind the build streams done because I need to finish up some builds that are very big and I don't want to do it like off camera um, and take time away from videos. So at least if I stream it with you guys, you know what's going on and then no one misses out on anything, which is good. So yeah, that'd be cool. Thank you, April. I really appreciate that. It's been a while since I've last streamed. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely been a long time. I'm not sure how many months, but it's definitely been a few months. Okay. The originals and the prequels. Awesome. Favorite season of Stranger Things. That's a hard one. Wait, Mayowalk does music? No way. That's cool. That's really cool. I have to check that out. That's awesome. She's a cool actress. What are we doing here? Are we doing a three block wall? I mean three lots of two. And then it goes back into a chunky a chunky turret. So like this? How big is that going to be? I need a photo from this other angle. I did take one. I well, not take one. I did nick one from online. <laughs> oh, I do have it on here somewhere. Uh, oh, I don't seem to have it. That'll do. That's actually all right. Oh, no. Uh, I thought I had a picture here. I'm just going to be idle for a second, guys. I just need to find a photo to use for inspiration here. Cause I've... Oh, no, there it is. He just put it in a different space. I have it. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. That's actually a very, very helpful picture. Brilliant. That's about a five block wall. So one, two, three, four, five. If I make it in Minecraft, I'm going to go with two more blocks extra because I have five rivets I need to get in with stairs. So let's make this on the ground quickly. That's going to be one rivet. Uh, these will probably be back to back, wouldn't they? Yeah, so two, three, four. Five. Now, how many blocks is this? Two, four, six, eight, ten blocks. Crikey. Crikey, Gov. Right. Uh, ten blocks. Wow. That is quite a lot. Maybe if we shrink this down again. I thought I just heard that ice cream van. I was getting excited. <laughs> Guys, if you do want to go ahead and donate to this stream, please do so. Uh, you can donate to my... Uh, Tiltify account, which goes straight directly to Make-A-Wish International. So please go ahead and support that wonderful charity. That is what this stream is all about. So please go ahead and support them. They are amazing and very, very dear to my heart. Oh, thank you so much, April. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for dropping the stream. It is an absolute pleasure to have you here and uh, an honor for all of us. Thank you. Have a lovely rest of your day. The mall setting is so cool. Oh yeah, definitely. No, I love that as well. I love season three. Thank you for saying that. Everyone's always saying like uh, season four is their favorite. I'm like, no, dude, season three. Because you got like the neon, the neon of the 80s. It like encapsulates the 80s in my opinion so well. Like, I didn't grow up in the 80s, so I don't know like firsthand. But um, for what I like picture in my head as being the 80s is neon. Neon and crazy hairstyles and like just... I don't know, like pop culture everywhere. And that is like the perfect definition of it, I think. They did it so well. The mall setting, like you said, is so cool. So yeah. 3, 4, 1, 2. Fair play. Fair play. Yeah, no, same. I'd, I'd probably put two at the last as like... Oh, no, actually. No, 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 no. I don't know here. Oh, this is tough. I've never really thought about after season three. Uh, oh, no. I'd probably say like season three, season one, because I love season one just because it's like nostalgic as hell. Uh, season two, then season four. 
I'm putting season four last, <laughs> which is cruel. I know. Uh, season four is good. It is good, but I I don't. I think as like threats go, I didn't think Vecna was like very. He wasn't as scary as like the Mind Flayer or like the Demogorgon. Um. So I probably I probably say, I probably say that. Although the Hopper like Hopper taking out the um. Uh. The Demogorgons in the prison was like a really cool scene. Definitely. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Perfect. Right. But then I still gotta go to the side, so. Maybe if I make the ends the same? No, because we still have a block in the middle. This is confusing. Yeah, look, I don't want this gap here. I don't want that to be a big gap, otherwise it's gonna look kind of bad how can I do this oh hold on this could this could work like that but then I need to I'm trying to build arches basically I'm trying to build this design here let me show you I'll do it in Minecraft I'll do it on a big scale just so you can see so I'm trying to build like little little loops that come down. Not in a whole block like that. If I try and do it a bit better. So under this um this wall and the archway is little like rivets. And they go there's five of them in total. And they're kind of like chunky, like they hold up the um the is it the ballast uh I can't remember what it's called now. The the wall anyways, like the castle wall, like that. Um, so I'm trying to make this, but I'm trying to make it on a smaller scale, so I don't go a bit overboard. And there's going to be five of them as well, so it's going to be a little bit bigger than this. How many is that? One, two, three, four. Oh, this is this is a bit problematic. This bit. How are we looking now? One, two, three, four, five. But it doesn't look the best, does it? Tricky stuff. Building some Fallout stuff since the Fallout show comes out. Oh, it would be cool to do Pit Boy. I might try and do Pit Boy. Maybe. That'd be cool. Gotta go. We'll look forward to the next stream. Thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate you dropping in. Um, thank you so much, man. Have an excellent rest of your day, brother. You take care. I will, uh, I will be back streaming on Wednesday if you uh, are free. Feel free to pop by. You're always welcome. Hopper scene, yeah, the Hopper scene was cool. Like, the fire with the Demogorgons was just absolutely badass. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. I thought that one was really cool. Like, that was definitely, like, one of the best scenes in Season 4. Um, I'm going to be ending at quarter to ten. So, in about... Uh, six minutes' time? Um, so, yeah, I decided to go a little bit longer today. Because I was having a good time. Everything was going great. So <laughs> we've been a little bit further. Hello, Howling Wolf. How are you doing, bro? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping the stream. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Really appreciate your support. Will, you do like roller coasters because I... Oh, cool. The Smiler. The Smiler would be cool to build. That would be pretty cool. Right, I think I'm going to have to... I need to figure out this wall design before I continue. Otherwise, I'm going to get too far ahead and then not have this design knuckled down. Problem is, if I'm doing slabs between them, this is going to end up being a 10 block long wall. And I don't want it to be 10 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh no, 9. Wait, what have I done here? Oh yeah, 9. Well, that can work. I can deal with 9. How many is it at the top? 1, 2, 3, oh, 5 as well. Ah, that's the problem. Okay, we're just having to we're gonna have to like settle with nine. So one, that's three, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that going back a bit too far? Yeah, maybe. Do it here. Like that. So we're trying to build like a sheer sort of edge here. Even if I do Two, 
two. The two's in the middle, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine here. That's gonna leave us a three up there. Oh man, what am I doing wrong, man? No, I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it. I just gotta remember how to build the wall I just did now. <laughs> the turret I just did. I think it was like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a big old turret. Big old boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit funky. Trust the process. There we go. We saw it now. We fixed it. That's in there now. I mean, it looks roughly the same size as these, but it's a, just a little bit bigger. So I may even try to make it a little bit bigger, like even even chubbier. We want a really chubby one. Like this. There we go. Now it connects into the wall and then... Or maybe more to this way. Sorry guys, I'm going quite a second. Just to keep my focus. How are we looking now? Oh, what have I done here? What is going on? Oh, I see, I see. I see. There we go. Look at that. We have a massive one now. Nice one. We fixed it. We fixed it. Lovely. <laughs> oh, the character development was so good for Stranger Things. That's what I loved about, like... Stranger Things season one and then and then four as well had it again. They kind of went back to their roots with that one. It's like Steve was obviously like a bully and a horrible character and a horrible person in season one. And then like at the end of season one when he bought Jonathan his new camera but made like Nancy give it to him so it didn't it didn't look obvious. That was when the, the sort of turning point happened. The tables were turning, like Steve was becoming a better person. And then season two came along and he was like on the side of the kids and like helping the kids like you know and stuff becoming like babysitter Steve that was when he developed as a character and like he really got to know Steve Harrington so I feel like putting season two at my like last position would not be my best move because Steve is one of my favorite characters and then um Eddie you had exactly the same with Eddie in season four he was like a very rebellious seemed to not really care about anyone else but himself kind of character well in a, in a way in a way um, and then obviously it's sacrificing himself right at the end of season four. Like, oh, that's just pretty badass. Alexi. Alexi is a, is an awesome character. Definitely. You got a shirt of Steve that says the babysitter. Nice. <laughs> nice. I have, um, I have a Steve shirt, which is like, um, it's like a brown shirt and it has like a hairdo on it and it just says Steve the hair Harrington. That's literally what it says. Cause I have a bit of like crazy hair going on as well. Not the, not the coolest crazy hair. Mine is like the lame version of Steve Harrington. But um, yeah, I was like, I, I do like that. I thought that said Hopper's Little Helper. I was thinking that would be such a fun t-shirt as well. It'd be like 11 dressed as an elf or something. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Right, this turret is the same height as those ones. So I'm just going to build the turret up here, guys, and then we'll call it a day. What a stream it's been so far though. We've had a max of like 20 people here, which is absolutely bonkers for the first stream. If we can keep this up all week, we should be able to raise up to our donation goal of $500, which I know is an exceptionally high goal, but I was like, we can do this. We're the assassin hood. Of course we can do this. Seriously though, guys, every small donation does go to a very, very good cause and does help in a huge way. 
all you need to do is, if you want to see where your money goes, is look at the Make-A-Wish Foundation social media pages. Like I said, I've spent many occasions, like, there at night time, can't sleep, just looking through my phone, kind of doom scrolling. Doom scrolling all the way to uh, a Make-A-Wish post and then just leave crying. Like, <laughs> their impact on kids is just absolutely phenomenal. So, definitely need to help that. The support is necessary. And we are in a position to help, so we may as well try. Right, there we go. Look at that, that looks good. Right, if I don't get this wall done, it's going to bug me, so I may as well just try to get this done too. What I might do here is to make it incorporate into the wall a bit. Just build those up like that. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Now, this one's not going to be built as high. It's going to be like the lowest point of the archway. So the lowest point of the archway is about here. Maybe a block down, so about here. Yeah. You can hear the squeakiness in my controller. It's because I've been placing blocks really quickly. And I've now given my controller a squeak. Listen. <laughs> it's the spring. It's crazy. Right, we're almost there. We're almost there. It wasn't a, like, successful in the fact that I, <laughs> I, would, I didn't get the foundations built entirely. But I did start. I built the pathway up and that is a very important bit. And it is starting to look like a castle, I think. What do you reckon, guys? I mean, so far, so good. <laughs> Maybe. I may even have to short, shorten that uh, turret down. Now looking at it, it might even look a little bit too big. Mm, I don't know. It seems to go up in a bit of a point as well. Like, it seems to be a bit chubbier at the bottom and then goes up into a bit of a slimmer design. Um, so, yeah. There's that. <laughs> There's that to work with. But I can sort that out next time. That's not a, a worry. We're going to come back to this on Wednesday and get some more challenges done. Now, in the meantime, I may pop back on. I'm not sure if I will yet. I'm not, sh like, too certain. But I may pop on to get some of the uh, details done, like the little candles and stuff, the little lanterns and uh, street lights here. But if I don't, it will all come in the next stream anyways. So uh, that'll be fine. But there we are. That is that for today. I'm going to put my hand and HUD off to give it a bit of a cinematic background. And then we'll do the outro up here. All right, then. Wow. Thank you so much for watching this first stream, guys. I have called this my Build to Wish stream. Um, because obviously we have Make-A-Wish and Make and Build. They mean the same thing, don't they? Kind of thing. So uh, I thought that was a really cool like play on words for uh, these streams here. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me for my first Build to Wish stream here on Minecraft. It has been an absolute pleasure to be back streaming for you all. It has been an absolute honor to be able to talk to you all once again. It's so so lovely to talk to you all because when I'm making videos, I don't get to actually appreciate you guys and talk to you and know what you actually want to see and obviously, you know, have that fan interaction or that, that subscriber interaction that's really vital to uh, content creation. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. To everyone that's still here, thank you so much. I wish you all the very best of Tuesdays tomorrow and I'll be back on Wednesday to catch up with you all again. So definitely, definitely come on by. It will be awesome to see you all again. Like I said, the donation link is at the top there in the uh, chat. It's also in the description. No pressure to, but if you want to go ahead and donate, please go ahead and do so. Like I said, it's for an absolutely worthy cause. Um, and the donation link will still be up when the streams are down. So although I'm not going to be live, the stream donations, like where the donations go, will all be live on a website that you can go ahead and drop a donation to. So check out our community post for that. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to head off. Take the best of care, everyone. Have a lovely rest of your day. Drop a like on the stream if you've enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you all very shortly for another Wheel Assassin stream. <laughs> Goodbye for now, Assassins. Thank you so much. You're absolutely legendary. I am really, really grateful for you. I'm trying to do an emote to like say thank you, but I can't remember how to do it because I'm old. <laughs> I've forgotten. I'm just like trying to do this. Oh, well, hold on. There we go, there we go. I got it, I got it. Woo! Hell yeah. I don't have any others than the uh, the defaults, so you'll just get clapping. I hope you like the clapping. 
<laughs> but there we go. Oh, sorry about Nightbot. He's gonna he's gonna be angry. But uh, yeah, it just just write egos in the chat. I haven't banned. Um, there's no there's no like um, spam of word ban. Uh, that's down to my actual moderators. So if you guys want to put just the word egos in the chat, you know, feel free. That's fine. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Have an excellent rest of your day. Goodbye for now. Right. I've got to end this uh, with some funky music, but I, I don't want to get copyright again. Uh, so, <clears throat> no, no, I was, I was going to go like, play that funky music, white boy. You know that song? Anyone know that song? I hope you know that song. Otherwise, it just sounds weird. It sounds weird nonetheless. I'm just going to go. <laughs> Goodbye for now, guys. Thank you so much.